What's going on? My name is Alex with Portland Event Films, and today we're going to talk to you about the Hollyland Mars 400 S Pro coming up. Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with Portland Event Films. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Um, I do a lot of videos on different video equipment for video production and live streaming. And today I want to talk to you about these two bad boys. Just pick these up. These are the Hollyland Mars 400 S Pro. And we use these in our live streaming setup. Um, we used to have uh, just the regular 400s and then also the 300s. And the latency was just a little too much and it didn't work out quite right. Um, so I'm going to show you how I use these, who I think these are right for, and how you can kind of include them in your video production, whether you're shooting commercials or you're using them for live streaming. So a lot of the live streaming events that we do, we have to be mobile. We'll have our setup on one side and then we have to get our camera on the other side or there's some action moving where we need to follow it on a gimbal. And so this is what we use to solve that problem. And it is a great solution when you're trying to get a camera that's moving around or you have to go across the hallway or somewhere where cords are just a no-go. It, it looks messy and you have to move around and it's just not an option. So it's really nice. They come color-coded in, in case you forget which one's a transmission and which one's a receiver. But me personally, I'm an idiot. So I put the word camera and label it so I know which one goes on the camera and which one goes on the receiver. So I use this in my live streaming. Um, we couple this with the Ada Mini Pro for the video switcher. So this goes onto our video box and then this one goes onto the camera and this allows us to move around the room and get different angles and different shots. Now it says that it's rated for about 400 feet and that's directly direct line of sight, but inside in buildings going through walls, I would rate it for about 200 feet. So this works really well where we have action going in one room, but we need to go into another room. It will go through walls so you don't have have to have a direct line of sight, but you're going to lose a signal trying to penetrate through those walls, but it does work going through walls. And so it's a really good solution. Now, one of the biggest thing with uh, live streaming uh, with these is can I tell a difference between a hardwired, you know, SDI cable or HDMI cable versus this? And I'm going to say yes and no. If you're pixel peeping, you can see a difference. But for the average person, especially when it comes to like live streaming, you know, I'm only streaming at 720p anyways, and you really can't notice a difference. And what I want to know is if I pair this up with the HDMI cord, switch them back and forth, will the delay on this, is it noticeable? And I don't think it is by the naked eye. I've seen it. It's about two frames difference. Um, so what I will do is I will take the camera that's plugged in HDMI cord and I will have that be one second fast and then I'll have this be one second blow so that way the audio lines up and it kind of splits the difference and then you can't notice a difference between the hardwired cord versus uh, running into this. But what I try to do is I try to have this be my wide shot versus the hardwired HDMI cord is going to be my close up. So that's usually what I try to do. Doesn't always work out that way, but that's what I try to do. So let's talk about power. So we have the MPF batteries that we almost always keep on there. Um, you can plug a USB-C and then it also has the port here and we'll usually connect this to a V-mount battery. So our setup is usually a V-mount battery for the camera and then we run this into the V-mount battery, but we always keep a backup battery on the back just in case like our V-mount battery gets disconnected or something happens. I always have a backup and using the V-mount battery, I can go four or five hours and not worry about this thing uh, turning off. So it's really smart what they did. They gave lots of options when it comes to powering these devices. I love the fact that this has SDI because I do use the Atomos Shogun and I can connect this 
into the back of that. And so I can go HDMI in here and now I have the ability to do SDI on my monitor. Uh, later when I use my production cameras, I now have the ability to go SDI. So it's kind of future proof um, for what I'm using it for. Now, one of, the, one of my biggest questions is when I do live streaming, I wanna have a high quality backup. Is that possible? So with these cameras, I can record 4K at a high quality internally in the cameras. Then through the HDMI, I can send a 1080p 24 frames or 60 frames a second. So that's really important to, to keep in mind with these. You only have 24 or 60 frames a second that it will send. So if you're sending it to a video switcher or you're doing multi channels where all the frame weights have to be the same, you got to keep that in mind. Uh, we use the Ada Mini Pro, and the one good thing about that is whatever channel one is, the first HDMI, it will convert everything else to what the first HDMI import is. I purposely got these uh, to use in our live streaming setup. That's the main purpose. But I can also use it on, and I think what it was designed for mostly was on my production shoots. I can hook one of these up to the camera, and then I can hook another one up to a monitor instead of... Every time I do a shoot, people are excited about their product. Let me see, let me see. And so they're always standing over my shoulder trying uh, to see what's what I'm shooting, what it looks like. So now they can connect these to a different kind of monitor like a Sumo or a Shogun. They can watch it in a different room, but we can also connect it to, I think, up to four different devices using a cell phone uh, through the Hollywood app. And so it makes it really, really nice that I can keep them kind of like off my back from when I'm shooting. I uh, haven't used it for that purpose yet, but I slowly bought this for doing my live streaming and it has worked like a charm. I think I've only dropped the signal once and that's when I was really stretching it, trying to see like how far I could go before it drops signal. Do I recommend these things? I definitely recommend these, things, especially if you're doing live streaming, you're within like 300 yards. Um, they are a great piece of equipment. They're a little spendy when I bought them as I think I paid like 650 bucks for them. But compared to like the Teradex system that could do a quality like this, I mean, I think those are like 2,500 bucks. This is a great solution for that pro consumer um, that wants to have the ability to move the cameras around. Now, if I was recording a production through these, uh, I would not recommend it because you are losing some quality. But when it comes to like live streaming, it's a perfect solution. If you just need to get a feed from a camera to a monitor, definitely a great solution. I love all the abilities, all the things that they've incorporated inside these. Connecting these, getting these to talk to each other. I would say out of the 20 times that I've used it, there's only been one time where I've had to like go in and manually sync the channels. As soon as I power them, they pretty much just connect to each other. It's a little bit of a setup process getting it to connect to your phone, but you download the app and then put in the Wi-Fi code and connection and you're pretty much set. So I've only had to set it once out of all the times. After I set it up the first time, it's pretty much plug and play and that's just one of the biggest things is when I get to an event, I don't have time to mess around with certain things. I want to be able to turn it on and it's just ready to go. And the great thing about these is even if you turn one off and turn it back on within a couple of seconds, they will sync up and then it's streamed together. Sometimes with HDMI, you have to unplug it, plug it back in to like reestablish this connection. But with these, you just plug them in and they're golden and they just work like they're supposed to. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Alex with Portland Event Films. If you guys have any more questions, please let me know. Thank you.